hello and welcome back to my channel it's me Amy in today's video I will be sharing with you what I put in my son's Christmas Eve box it is his first Christmas Eve well it's his first Christmas I'm gonna show you the box like how it is my mum decorated it my mum did it because I asked her to I just wanted it to be something that she did and that when Jaden's older he can have it for every Christmas it's Christmas Eve box it will just be special because my mum done it because to be honest I'm not really good at designing or painting so I said mum could you do this for me this is Jaden's Christmas Eve box it's a little bit wet at the moment and it still needs touch-ups my mum said but I literally am in love with it. There's got Christmas trees at the top with some stars. It's got his name at the front outlined in black. Then on this side, it's got presents. I don't know if I can really show you the other side. Oh, it's got Christmas trees. And then it's got all different color stars on this side. What our idea is, so you can have this every year, is in this bit here at the top of the box, we're going to put Jaden's first Christmas 2020 and then next year it'll be Jaden's second Christmas 2021 and then we'll just keep filling it in columns and then he can have this box forever as a keepsake and whatever he wants to do with when he's older he can do whatever he wants with it and obviously I'm going to fill all the presents in here. Last thing that I wanted to put in his Christmas Eve box was bath stuff because Jaden absolutely loves his baths and obviously I want him to open his Christmas Eve box after his dinner but before his bath so then he can use the baths in his Christmas Eve bath. So I got him this rubber duck, it's like a reindeer duck. He does have the devil one for, from Halloween and he does actually have a Santa Claus one that I brought at the beginning of December. I did like the angel one but I just thought the reindeer one would be really really nice. I don't know why I just feel like uh, Jaden would like that one even though he doesn't really understand the difference. He has untold of these like different colours. He has animal ones. I think he has letter ones. He has all different so I thought this would go with like the collection of his bath toys. I'm actually giving some of these away in the giveaway as well that will be revealed tomorrow I think. No the next day on the 23rd of December. The winner will be revealed of the giveaway but I just thought you can't go wrong with these you know in his like Christmas Eve box it goes with the reindeer bath toy and it's just really sweet and nice another thing that is for the bath is this scrub -a -dub -a -dub -a -dub -a -doo -doo. <laughs> duck like washcloth he actually has this already but it needs throwing away because it's gone all like horrible at the moment we use a frog one so I just thought I'd get him another ducky one for the bath as a nice little washcloth he actually plays with this not like he uses like a sponge well i use a sponge to wash him and he just plays with this he really likes to play with things like this the next thing for Jaden's christmas eve box this year i will be putting in these little miniature puzzle pieces that are from cbb's bbc so it's got all like the little cbb characters on it and it's also got like the farm, the museum, the circus, the zoo, the supermarket, the seaside, the train station, the school, the park, the library, the swimming pool, the garden, the stadium and a party. So it includes 14 pieces, I just read that from the back. And it's colour and shape recognisation, so obviously it'll help them learn colour, so the purple one goes with the purple puzzle piece. And it'll just help him as well learn the different locations of everywhere, because obviously with lockdown I can't really take him to the zoo or the museum or a circus, and I feel like he's a bit too young for a circus anyway. But this will just help him to understand the different locations and colours, so I thought that was really good. It does say on it 3+, plus. But I feel like if me or Marcus are playing with him with it, we can try to help him kind of do it. So I just think that's just a recommended age. With some things, I do think you need to listen to the age because like, for example, a Nerf gun. Marcus wanted to get Jaden a Nerf gun and I was like, Marcus, it's seven plus. Jaden won't even know how to use it. He'll just hit himself in the head with it. It's dangerous for him. So sometimes I do think you should listen. But with things like this, not really. Jaden loves noises, he loves different sounds and he likes hitting things so I got him a xylophone for his Christmas Eve box. I don't know whether to keep it in the box or just take it out in there so you can just grab it and then play with it straight away. This will help develop little minds through play. It's got sensory coordination, um, it's also got creativity because obviously you make your own music and it's got music. I don't know if I already said that but obviously it's got music so I feel like this is really really good for a christmas eve box especially for a baby's first christmas Jaden will be well he is 10 months old and he will be 10 months old christmas eve and christmas day so yeah i feel like this is really good munchies on the move so the little pots that you can put baby's food in and take out 
for example like if you make them something as you know if you watch my channel i do homemade food a lot of the time so this will be really really useful to put food in on the go you know if i was going out to like i don't know i don't know where i'll be going right now because we're in tier four lockdown but say we was going to the park this would be good because then he could have his lunch like we could have a picnic and he could eat or if he's a little bit older so when he just turns one or just a bit over one i could put some fruit in there so if he is hungry while i'm out he can have a bit of fruit or a bit of biscuits and so on i forgot to mention that with the bath toys i also got like these numbers that will stick to the wall when they're wet they are bath time numbers yep i just said that so one two three they do do like alphabet as well so if your child's a bit older or even if your child's Jaden's age you can help them learn how to spell their own name or spell certain words like mom dad cat dog i feel like that's good and i feel like numbers are obviously good to teach them the numbers one to ten so then they know that and yeah i don't know what else to say in his christmas eve box he also will have some washcloths if you can see them there's a blue one a white one and a gray one so i don't necessarily really use these when bath and Jaden. i use a sponge but i think this will be really good more for his body and then using the sponge for his hair because it's more soft and more sense like for sensitive skin so i got these and i thought you can't go wrong with them in the bath so it goes well with the Christmas Eve box theme because most of the things are bath toys but you know it's the theme I'm going with this year. I will also be putting two Milky Bars in his Christmas Eve box. He loves Milky Bars. He doesn't have them often but I want to give one to him on Christmas Day after his dinner and then this one whenever in a couple of days maybe in the new year like for New Year's Eve <laughs> just give him the chocolate after his dinner. He literally loves these so much. I don't understand how fast he can eat these because he just demolishes them so quickly. They haven't arrived yet but I actually also ordered him personalized pajamas for christmas so when he wakes up and they're gonna say Jaden's first christmas so they will be going in the box with some fluffy socks so that's what he'll be wearing to bed christmas eve and waking up on christmas day to open all his presents also in his christmas eve box will be going this remote control baby's remote Jaden likes to nick our sky remotes he also likes to nick our phones that's why i got him a toy phone for his christmas stocking if you haven't seen that video go and watch it but thought i'd get him his own little remote it's got buttons and it plays like different sounds different music so if i press this i really really can't find it right now but from the works i actually brought him a christmas book that's i can't remember what it's called something to do with christmas but it also has a button on it that play, oh it's called jingle bells it's called jingle bells because the music you press it and it plays jingle bells and as you read through it it reads all the song and i thought that was really good because Jaden really likes buttons and things like that like noises for example my cousin she has a unicorn book that you press the button and it makes noises and Jaden sits there and plays with it so i thought it'd be nice to get him his own one and i've got a christmas theme so it could be in his christmas eve box so they are the things that i will be putting in my son's christmas eve box if you did like this video and you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and keep yourself notified for future videos i have been doing vlogmas uploading a video every single day since the beginning of december yes i accidentally didn't yesterday but that's one day off so i will be making that up on the 27th of december i'll be uploading another video so technically i've accomplished my whole 26 days of vlogmas because it'll be 26 uploads this month or for the vlogmas and then i'll be uploading back to normal in the new year twice a week which i'm excited for because i have so many videos planned for the new year it's a new start fresh year hopefully the covid goes down and we're not in tier 4 and we're not in lockdown because i have got a lot of plans so please please covid go away leave us alone that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope it did help like i said previously but for now adios amigos merry christmas